I couldn't help myself, went back to Trader Joe's and I think it's only been about two weeks. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and every Friday I try to share my grocery haul for the week. Now, this weekend is going to be a little bit different because I went to Trader Joe's with my really good friend Kira and we were really just looking at the specialty items that they come out with for each holiday and Christmas they definitely go over and above on everything. So this isn't really a grocery haul although I do have some of our favorite staples, some new foods and all of that but this is very heavy on the holiday and I got quite a few non-food items for gifts. So I am very excited to share with you guys what I found now. I didn't find everything I was looking for. The thing about Trader Joe's is everybody loves Trader Joe's and they sell out fast. So I might go back one more time, but it shouldn't be this big at all because I only have like a few things on my list. So let me take you guys down to my dining room table. I have everything spread out. My total was I think it was 317 definitely the most i feel like that's the most i've ever spent but again i got quite a few non-food items and gift sets that i'm using for gifting this year so i'm going to show you guys everything that i picked up and i will pop up the individual prices just so you guys can see what each item cost me if you guys are making your own list and looking for things at trader joe's all right let me go ahead and show you guys my huge spread all right so definitely i mean i would have to go back and check but i'm not gonna spend my time doing that. I think this is the most I've spent at Trader Joe's. So the total was 317, but this was definitely more of a like holiday haul for sure. I mean, obviously we're in that time of year. I did get a few staples that we pick up every time, but I got a lot of new stuff and I got a lot of non food stuff. So you guys are probably going to hear my, this is going to be a very relaxed grocery haul because it's rainy and yucky and I just got home and the dogs are all excited and it's almost lunchtime. So let me stop jibber jabbering and get right into it. I'm going to share the non food items first. And like I mentioned, I will pop up prices so you guys can see everything individually. So first up, I got this 12 days of beauty, uh, advent calendar really. So there's 12 different beauty products in there and it actually shows you guys on the back what is in here and some of them are like all year stuff cherry blossom clementine and then some of them are definitely a holiday feel we've got some toasted marshmallow gingerbread i think there was another one maybe not maybe not a peel off mask so cool so i got this just to kind of peel it apart and use for this holiday season for different things I love getting flowers from Trader Joe's and this time I got a lot from the floral section. So first up, look at this small little teeny tiny mini poinsettia. How cute is that? I've never seen them this small and I have a little basket in our half bath downstairs that I think I'm going to just set this in just to give a little bit more of a holiday feel in that bathroom that, you know, whenever the kids have friends over or, you know, Kira, whenever we have guests of any kind, they typically use that bathroom. So I thought that would look really cute in there. Okay. And then I got three different packages for creating a little bouquet in my kitchen in a vase. I got this one, which is eucalyptus. Is that what it says on there? Yeah. Eucalyptus assortment. And then I don't think I've ever purchase peonies before. Um, so Kira was talking about them and was talking about how beautiful they are when they open fully. And I was just like, okay, these are winter peonies. So they are white. And then I also got these country roses to go with them. So all three of these I'm going to put together in a little bouquet and hopefully they just look gorgeous. Then I got the grump tree. I think I can't remember if I got this last year or if they were already sold out and I got it the year before, but I know I've purchased this one or two years in a row. And I think this guy is going to look really cute on the kids little breakfast table, or I might bring him in here. Actually, I might put the flowers in here and then put this on the breakfast table. I think that would look really cute. And I think the kids will get a kick out of it. So I did get the grump tree. All right. And then we're going to come down here. So I got this candle tin trio. I love burning candles this time of year. The cranberry pine, fresh currant, and nutmeg. So they're just little small 
tins of candles and then I got this so I did get the trivet the last time I went and that's just sitting out on my kitchen counter I got this felted wool garland it's nine feet long I thought this would be cute to have out all year round in the kids game slash playroom so that's what I picked this up for I might hold on to it or go ahead and put it up now I'm not sure but I thought this would just be great for you know all year round it's not really super Christmassy you know like it shows it it's garland but but the colors on it would look good all year round. This is what I was looking for the last time I went when I got the stack of bowls. I feel like they had a smaller version or maybe it just looked smaller in the pictures that I saw. But the second I saw that they had this olive wood cutting and serving board, I picked it up. It is absolutely beautiful. I love all the wood pieces that they have right now. They still had I will link my last Trader Joe's haul in the description box because normally I only go once a month, but I think it's only been about two weeks. This is what I was looking for. I got those bowls. They do have a medium sized bowl and then they had these spoons. And I mean, like I said, I just love the look of them. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. So this is an olive wood spoon and it tells you a little story on the back about how they, you know, make these and all of that. So I got those for my kitchen. Let me move this over here and then some more little gift sets not quite sure if i'm just gonna keep them break them apart and put them into little gifts i might add um, i was thinking about adding some of these lip balms and the hand creams maybe to the teacher gifts that we have going on i'm not sure yet but oh this is upside down but i wanted to go ahead and pick them up so i had options so this is a moisturizing lip balm set there's six tubes in there and they're each a different one. So almond cream, cranberry tangerine, watermelon. What is this one? Peppermint, raspberry cream, and then green tea. So I picked that up. This one is an exfoliating body scrub trio. It has brown sugar scrub, a citrus shrub, citrus scrub and then a green tea scrub that would be really cute if i broke these apart and put the green tea with the green tea lip balm that would go good i think my actually i think my oldest daughter might like that because she is a tea fanatic so i might you know use that and then this is an ultra moisturizing hand cream trio there's three one ounce tubes in there so there's a coconut an avocado and what is this one a marula I'm not sure what that is, but I think I said that right, <laughs> Marula. And I think that's it as far as the non-food items, but I definitely got more like holiday stuff going on here. So we'll start down here. I picked up the Jingle Jangle. I got this last year and the kids just love it. It's a fun mix of fan favorite candy treats. And I think it tells me on the side, milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. There's a picture of everything that's in here. And I think there's more actually over here. Okay, here we go. Milk chocolate candies, dark chocolate enrobed Jojo cookies, and then milk and dark chocolate mini, mini peanut butter cups. So definitely a lot of my kids' favorites in there. They're going to love it. I did pick up two of the ready to bake garlic and herb pizza doughs. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer and that way we can just have a random pizza night. And these are vegan, so that way my daughter can kind of make her own if she wants. We can bake it up, put some maybe arugula and avocado. We did that um, not too long ago and it was super yummy. So I went ahead and picked two just to toss in the freezer. You guys, as soon as I saw somebody share these on Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I can find them. And I picked up six of them. I'm gonna have Paige look and see if she wants to try them. I'm not sure if she's gonna want to, but these are handmade candy canes with a cocoa cream filled center. What? So there's like chocolate in the middle of these candy canes and I am here for it. So like I said, I picked up six, one for each of us in the house. Then I saw, the, or actually I did not see this. Kira saw this and she knows how much I love brie and this is already ready. It's slicing brie cheese, handcrafted and just, I mean, ready to slice and serve. So I went ahead and picked this up because I am definitely a brie lover. I picked this up last time and it is so yummy. It's got a marzipan filling in it and I love marzipan. So I did pick that up again. I got some seasoning. So I actually bought a big pack of the everything but the bagel seasoning because my daughter Paige really enjoys it. But the only way to get Oh, my camera's having a hard time. The only way to get these two seasonings was to buy 
the set and I'm not sad about it because we like, I've used the everything but the elote seasoning. We still have some, we're not out, but I know I would purchase it again, so now I just have two. Same thing with the chili lime. I think we're almost out of the chili lime and that is a seasoning that I would have purchased again anyway. So I went ahead and got the set. There's two 2.3 ounce, one 2.8. I guess they're all different sizes. One two ounce, one 2.9. They're all about the same, but you can see there, there's five jars in there. And the two that you can't buy separately at Trader Joe's is the spicy Italian style sprinkle seasoning with fennel. I think that would go good in a lot of dishes. And then this cocoa cinnamon sugar blend. I think that is perfect for the holiday season. So I did go ahead and pick that up. And then I picked the Italian style sofrito up not too long ago in a small jar and we just finished the rest of it. So there now it's in a really big one. So I did go ahead and pick this up. It's a seasoning blend. Does it tell me? Crispy onion, sun-dried tomatoes, sea salt, garlic, red peppers, parsley, rosemary, and sage. Really, really yummy. So I got that. Then back here, I got a few different kinds of nuts, and then I got the peppermint cookie mix. So this is the peppermint chocolate chunk cookie mix. It's actually good for, I mean, a whole year, I think, until next December. And I actually bought the pumpkin one, and we haven't even opened it yet. We're about to. So I went ahead and got this one, and I, I'm just gonna make a little bit of both and put them in the freezer and that way we just have cookies all season long. I might make some and give them to some neighbors and stuff too because that just sounds yummy. Pepper, peppermint chocolate chunk. Definitely the time of year for those. And then as far as the nuts, I picked this trio of almonds. It's a 12 ounce can. It's got caramel coffee, sesame honey, and then roasted and salted almonds. And then I've picked this one up before several times. It's the step up to the snack bar mix. It's got a whole bunch of different things. Honey mustard pretzel pieces, honey roasted peanuts, corn chips, cheddar rocket crackers, honey roasted sesame sticks, and then chili lemon corn sticks but I've never picked up this one before and my husband and my daughter Pearl really like spicy stuff. So I got stepping it up spicy snack bar mix. It says snacks, snack mix with sweet jalapeno pretzel pieces. Um, what else does it say? Pasilla chili and sesame chips, spicy cheese, corn sticks, spicy chili almonds, and then a chili lemon corn nugget. So hopefully they like that, but we are, we're set on you know nuts and stuff for snacking. So went ahead and got those. And then that's not all the nuts. I also got these. So I picked this up last time and Mark really, really loved it. This is something that Kira always picks up and raves about and Mark loves them too. So I got one bag for him and then I am going to be doing a little grazing board. So I got another bag to have for that grazing board and they are the sweet and spicy pecans. And then I saw these and I went ahead and picked these up for the grazing board also. They are cocoa chili spice pecans, candy pecans with a blend of cocoa and spices. That just sounded good, so I got those. Um, a few things for my oldest daughter. These are all vegan snacks and goodies. I got these again, the mini marshmallows, the gluten-free and vegan, oh, the peppermint. She loved these and I think she already ate them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and like hide this and that way we can use it later on in the month, but I did go ahead and pick that up for her. I got this vegan gingerbread loaf. Several of you guys reached out to me on Instagram and were sharing so many vegan things that you found at Trader Joe's, and I knew this was something that she would probably enjoy, so I did go ahead and pick this up for her. And then this is a staple that I get every time I go to Trader Joe's. She loves these. They are the crunchy curls, a tasty lentil, and potato snack. So. Those are the items that I picked up with Paige in mind. I got several freezer items, but we're gonna go ahead back here. This just sounded really good and I wanted to try it. It is the sparkling cranberry ginger beverage. I think there's four cans in there. Then I got the glue vine, which is a hot wine drink that you serve at Christmas time. So I went ahead and picked that up. Oh, this is something else that I picked up for Paige, the coconut whipped topping. We've got you know some hot chocolate and stuff like that that we're gonna be doing, so I thought that she would enjoy having that. And then I picked up these two mixes. Not quite sure if we're gonna make them, or if we will gift them. I wanted to have lots of options. We're actually, my husband and I, next weekend, we are going to be finalizing and finishing out all of our Christmas stuff, as long as we can find the last few things. And we will officially be done, hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm really looking forward to being done and really enjoying the rest of the holiday season. So I just picked up a few extra things so we can make our decision. This one is, it's sedimentary, my dear, cookie. 
layers of sugar, brown sugar, peanut butter chips, candy coated chocolate drops, oats and coffee, graham cracker crumbs, and flour. And you just add butter, egg, and water. So I went ahead and got that. Let me show you guys the, the mix there. So these make great gifts or just to, you know, make with your own kids in the kitchen. And then this one, oh my gosh, I might have to make this one. I think this would be a good sweet treat to have in the morning with coffee. It's a Stroop waffle cake baking mix. Layers of sugar, flour, brown sugar, Stroop waffle pieces, and then crunchy caramel bits. And again, it just says add water, butter, and eggs. So I did pick that one up as well. All right, let's go over, I think these are the only two Two things that are not frozen. No, this is just refrigerated. So Carousel the fondue knows that we love this also. So she grabbed one for me to put in my cart is the fondue, a blend of selected artisanal cheeses from Switzerland. Yum. Then I got some uncured beef hot dogs. We are going to be having a chili and I pretty sure I have hot dog buns in the freezer. If not, that's no big deal, but my kids aren't huge fans of chili, so I felt like hot dogs would be a great um, thing for them to have also, and then my husband and I could make chili dogs if we wanted. So I went ahead and got the hot dogs for the kids, and then this is something else Kira was talking about. She asked if I had tried the shaved beef steak, and I said no, and she's like, make them with Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, and I was like, that sounds really good, and I haven't had a Philly cheesesteak sandwich in so long. So I did go ahead and pick this up it's gonna go in the freezer until I you know put that on the meal plan but it did sound good so I did head did go ahead and get that it's the all-natural shaved beef steak all right now we're coming to actually let me come over here because there's some frozen stuff over here all right I picked up two bags of the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions because I have not been able to find these in a couple months now I feel like it's been a while it's been several times since I've been to Trader Joe's and I found the potatoes with peppers and onions and I love this stuff really good in the morning with some bacon and over easy eggs really delicious so I went ahead and got two bags just so I had plenty to get us through the rest of the year I did get the gnocchi with the gorgonzola cheese that is something that I try to pick up every time because it is a favorite of mine and then this is something new I saw and it just sounded really good whether I make this for a lunch, a quick lunch, or if we have this like with something else with dinner, because this is definitely not, I don't feel like this is big enough for my family, but it's cheese filled fiocchette or chete. I feel like chete, fiocchette with pink sauce. Pasta pouches filled with ricotta, telegio, and mozzarella cheese. I probably just butchered so many words right there. Accompanied by a rich, creamy tomato based sauce. Sounded really good, so I picked that up. And then the rest of the frozen aisle, frozen things are over here. So these are non-dairy mint and chip bonbons. I picked these up just in case my daughter wanted to try them. If she doesn't, I think my husband would like them too, but they're coconut milk frozen dessert enrobed in a chocolatey coating. So I got those, definitely have not tried those before. And then these we have picked up before. I just made these for my daughter for Thanksgiving and she ate them all in like two to three minutes. I mean, we did skip breakfast and lunch that day, so she was starving, but she ate these so fast and I was like, okay, reminder, get those again because she loved them. They are crispy vegetable pouches, handmade crispy wontons filled with savory vegetables. So I picked that up for her. I picked this up because Kira was raving about it. This turkey and stuffing, turkey tenderloin wrapped in cornbread stuffing and then puff pastry. It does come with gravy and cranberry sauce packets. So I picked this up to serve with a bunch of appetizers and just have like a festive holiday holiday night. I thought that would be good. And I think the kids would probably enjoy that too. It looks really good. So I got that based off of her recommendation. We had spaghetti the other night and I was looking, I thought I had meatballs in the freezer and I did not. So I did go ahead and get some meatballs just so I have them on hand for the next spaghetti night. Then back there, I got two packages of the soft pretzels, the big soft pretzels. They're four or five in each package and everybody in the house loves those. So I thought that would be something nice to have on hand. Another item that I pick up almost every time is the hash browns. All of my kids love the hash browns, so I got one pack of that. And then I got a few different appetizers. So back here, I got these pastry bites. I think I've gotten these before. They're pastry bites with feta cheese and caramelized onions. Sounds really good. There's only 12 in here, so this is definitely a 
quick appetizer that's gonna go fast in my house. And then, like I said, I'm obsessed with brie and cheese and you know, add puff pastry and cranberry sauce and I'm good, I'll eat it. <laughs> so I got these two which are very, very similar. This is mini brie, a creamy brie cheese filling wrapped in puff pastry. It shows the cranberry sauce. I don't know if it comes with cranberry sauce. It doesn't say that on the package anywhere, but I didn't like read all over. So add your favorite sweet or savory dipping sauce or topping. So I don't think it comes with the cranberry sauce, but that's okay. I have cranberry sauce in my pantry. And then this, I did not look up how to say that. Camembert cheese. I'm gonna have to look that up. Camembert cheese and cranberry sauce. Is that phyllo or phyllo bites? I feel like it's phyllo. Man, I really should have looked up this stuff. <laughs> I am definitely just your average in the kitchen mom, you know? So phyllo bites looks really, really good. I think I picked these up last year too. Um, they ring a bell. So I got those and then I got these because my husband enjoys pimento cheese and I think he would like these. So they are pimento cheese puffs, puff pastry filled with pimento cheese, uncured bacon, and caramelized onion. So I think he will like that, but that is or was $317 from Trader Joe's. I'm really excited to try some of these goodies and to have, you know, a few of our favorites back in stock at home. All right, so that is my Trader Joe's haul that I am sharing with you guys today. Now, I said this weekend was different because I have been sharing meal preps on Saturdays when I'm prepping enough, I feel like, to put into videos. Now, this past week, I haven't done a whole lot. I've actually shared just a few things over on my vlog channel. If you guys want to follow me over there, I am participating in Vlogmas, so you guys will get something from me every single day on my vlog channel. Definitely more vlog style, behind the scenes, kind of seeing how my days go and all of that. So I would love to have you over there. I do not have a meal prep video for you tomorrow. I have a Walmart Plus grocery delivery. I tried them out for the first time um, after using Instacart a few times, actually more than a handful of times. I was looking for another route to see if it was a little better. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys tomorrow because I didn't get like regular groceries and things like that at Trader Joe's. So I used Walmart for that. So be on the lookout for that. If you love grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new, you're definitely gonna want to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I would love to have you as part of our community. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a Walmart plus, yeah, a Walmart plus grocery delivery. Bye guys.